Hey there lovelies. I just filmed a tutorial on the makeup that I plan on wearing to a wedding that I have for this weekend. I'm the maid of honor in my soon to be sister-in-law's wedding and I thought it'd be fun to kind of just give a try on what I plan on doing for makeup as well as hair but I'm going to put them in two separate videos so um, let's first start by brushing this hair. Um, that's why my makeup looks so so fancy compared to how it normally does because I just filmed that one. So if you like the makeup, definitely um, give me a like down below and I'll link my makeup tutorial right here. And go watch that one. Subscribe to me for more tutorials. I mean, I don't think I'm any kind of guru when it comes to makeup or hair, but I do enjoy it. Um, and so I'd love to share my ideas with other people. Um, so all I did before I finished the store, all I did this morning was um, I washed it with some volumizing shampoo and then I put some um, volumizing mousse at the roots and in my bangs. I find that it helps my bangs have a little volume or it usually they just kind of fall flat and I just let it air dry. So that's why, I don't know if you can see, that's why the underneath has a bunch of like waves in it. And the top part is straight because that's how my hair normally dries. I have natural texture, but it's so heavy that it usually doesn't stay. So if I blow dry my hair, it usually blow dries pretty straight, just really like poofy. <laughs> so I have to go back and straighten it. Um, but I'm gonna go in and use this Garnier Fruit Teas Deconstructed Texture Teas Dry Touch Finishing Spray. I assume that means it's like a hairspray, but I actually like it to use as like a texturizer so I just give it a shake and normally I flip my hair over and do this but since I'm on camera I'm not gonna do that but I just kind of take a layer and flip it over and just kind of give it a good spray and then go in with my little comb and kind of tease it haphazardly and I'm just going to do that in several sections. Okay, so I've teased, I've teased it pretty well with the texturizing stuff. Um, our, by the way, our dresses are scoop neck. It's pretty low scoop neck. And it's an outside wedding in the middle of June in Arkansas. I don't do well with heat. Well, I don't care with heat. Humidity is what kills me. So, um, I, uh. Definitely put my hair up off of me. I am going to, where's my clip? I'm going to section off my hair, just kind of like right behind the ears and go straight back. And is that enough hair? Yeah, this top part is gonna be the part that I'm actually going to style. The bottom part I'm going to put in kind of a low messy bun. So I'm just going to take that teased hair and kind of put it to the side. I'm just using like a small, I like the black elastics because I feel like when I use the clear elastics, they show up in my dark hair. And there's too many layers that, okay. So I'm just going to kind of put it over here to the side. And let's see. Try to do a messy bun on the side and while I'm doing it. It doesn't be perfect because the actual bun part that you're going to see now is going to be the curled hair that I'm going to pin into it. I just need kind of a structure to pin into it and it also helps me not have to curl all of my hair. So I just kind of did like a funky messy bun. And as you can tell, I have less hair than I did before, so it's very funny looking. So then we're going to take down the rest of the hair. And this is the hair that we're going to curl and pin to it. So I'm just going to take less hair for me to curl. I'm going to take the hair behind my ears and just kind of go straight up. Yeah. I think that's good. And... Keep some pieces out. Ooh, that's too many pieces. That's too thick of a piece, Ashley. What are you thinking? Ow. Um, I'm just gonna keep some pieces out. Like that. 
and my hair is staticky. I don't know why. Uh, okay, so we've got that. So I'm just going to braid this. Actually, I think I need more hair for this braid. The braid doesn't feel very thick. There we go. That's better. That's better. There's my southern accent coming through. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so I'm just gonna do normal braid. Um, nothing fancy. Just three sections and then braid it. If I was a little better, no, I probably wouldn't do fish. I was gonna say if I was a little better at fish tail, I'd probably do a fish tail. But honestly, I think the normal braid would look best here. So I'm just gonna braid it all the way down. Actually, I'm gonna leave a little room because I'm going to, um, kind of thicken it up, I guess you would say. I'm gonna pull pieces out so that it looks wider. Let me secure it first. I need a, I need an elastic. Okay, so I'm gonna take one of those elastics from earlier and put it right there. Not very tight, cause again, I'm gonna pull, pull it up, pull it up. So I'm just gonna keep pulling on it. See how it's getting wider? I'm just gonna kind of keep doing that until it's sort of messy and a bit wider. I can even like pull that to secure it. So we've got that one. Glorious. A gloria. Ooh, fly away. Where does that go there? Where did you come from, little fly away? Haha. <laughs> there we go. So that'll be perfect. That'll go over there, over yonder. And then we're gonna do the same thing to this side. So just behind the ear and straight up. And my hair is pretty dark, so it's hard to see, but. Okay, so we've got our two braids. So the rest of the hair, we're going to curl and pin. So I think first I'm gonna curl it all and then work on pinning it into our side bun. So um, I'm gonna take a small section here. I am going to be using the Numi three-in-one. Um, it came. It comes with three different sizes. And I'm using the middle size because um, I don't want super tight curls, but because my hair is shorter, the widest barrel doesn't work for me anymore. So I'm just going to curl it and hold it there for a second. I look really crazy right now because my hair is like not all put together yet, but it will be. So... My hair also doesn't hold curl very well, so that's why I'm not leaving it down and curly. And that's why you're probably like, why do you still have it in your hair? I did put a heat protectant in my hair before I, before I let it dry, so. Okay, so we're gonna let that go. We're gonna hold it in our hand so that it cools some without gravity wearing on it. Reminds me, I'm done with this texturizing spray. I need to get that out of my lap. Out of my lap. Okay, so that one's good. See the little, the little curl. And the curls don't have to be perfect because you're not leaving them down. You're going to be pinning them back. So they just need to have somewhat of a curl structure to them. And I'm curling them all away from my face because I'm going to be pulling them over to the side. And so I don't want them curling the opposite direction. I'm going to pull them because then they're just going to fight me. Okay. I think that is all of the straight pieces. So once this one curls, I'm just going to like finger comb it and start pinning. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to just kind of finger comb these curls because again we don't want it like 90s prom we don't want like 
perfect curls pinned back there. We just want to be able to um, kind of brush it all back. And yeah. So there's, that's what it looks like. So I think I'm going to be strange here and I'm going to like pin this out of my way so I can start pinning the rest. Where did that clip go? There it is. I look like a weird milkmaid. Okay, so I'm going to take curly sections. I'm just going to like pin them near and around the bun that I created on the side. But I don't want to pull it too tight because I want to keep that texture. So... Hmm, I thought this was going to be much easier than I had anticipated. Okay, so we got one bobby pin down. Ta-da! And let's do like that, maybe. Definitely don't want to smush anything down. Uh -huh. Ooh, that's a crazy pin. Nope. Not quite that loose. Needs to be a little bit tighter. As you can see, I've never done a hair tutorial before. Okay, so let's see. Let's pin it. Is that good? Yeah, I think that's good. So we'll pin it there. Not blur. And up and that way. So we're left with everything pinned kind of to the side. So I'm just going to take. Oh, I'm just going to take that bun from earlier and pin it flatter so that I can pin the curl on top of it. My little curly cues are getting in the way. Okay, so obviously for the day of the wedding, I'm going to use much more bobby pins to secure this. But since I'm just going to take it out as soon as the video is done, I'm not going to put this many bobby pins in it. But my hair doesn't want to cooperate. Okay, so then we're going. Oh, oh, found some baby hairs. Try to pin them in place. Okay, so. Once we're done with that part, we're just going to kind of kind of pull that up. Pull that up. I feel like I'm starting a song. And pin it. Pin it there. Ooh, got some baby hairs. Pin it. There, so it looks like we have a curly bun when honestly we didn't curl that much of it. Okay, so got a few little flyaways. I actually kind of like the way that turned out. Hmm, very surprised. Okay, so then we're going to take the pieces we had curled earlier, or not curled, the pieces we had braided, whoosh, and we're going to fatten them back up again and just kind of rough it up <laughs> okay and so I'm going to pull it oh oh no uh -huh. I'm going to pull it over to where it's like at the base of the hair so that I can pin it under some curls. So, and now it's time for this side. So, it's okay if it's a bit messy because you don't want it super structured. I think that looks cute, right? So then we're just gonna go back and we're going to Curl the little things we left down. And you know what? 
if you have some flyaways back here, that's okay. As long as they're curled, they'll just look like you meant to do that. La, 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 la. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Mm, I think I'm probably going to pin that out of the way. Because that is too short to curl and it does not look very short. Or straight. So we just kind of curled our flyaways. We're going to pin that straight piece out of the way. And then once I do this on Saturday, I'm going to make sure that I pin that back in the first place. Um, I think I want to give my bangs just a little bit of a curve. Oh, that one little piece does not want to cooperate. Okay. So that's pretty close of how I'm going to do it. Obviously more bobby pins and lots of hairspray to secure this, this crazy thing, but got little curls. Just wanted to give me problems. But yeah, so let me see if I can move the camera somewhere else so you can see better. Right Let's see, can you see better that way? If you like hair tutorials, definitely give this a thumbs up. If you want to see how I did the makeup, definitely click on the link from earlier. And yeah, if you like these types of videos, give it a thumbs up. Give me any comments, questions, or anything down below. Tips. Tell me what other kind of tutorials you'd like to see. I'm open. Give me some ideas. I will take them and make them my own. And... Yeah, so thank you for watching, and maybe I'll post some vlogs from the wedding so you can see how this turned out and see if I actually stuck with this makeup and hair look, and so you can see the whole outfit. Alright, uh, thank you guys for watching, and have a great night, lovelies. Bye!